All right, welcome back, um, Factorio, Warptorio. Um, I handcraft everything because I don't have any space to automate anything because it's Warptorio. All right, coal is full, iron is coming in. Do we get for more? Do we go for more iron? I think we actually need some stone, dude. That's so annoying. My stone thing is absolute garbage. We actually have a pretty decent thing of, well... You know, we got the this, we got the these just doing right there, and then we got these just, yeah, and then we got those, we got these right there, and then we got the that, and then we just need this, and it's like, it's going pretty well. And that is gonna be portable fusion reactors, that's pretty nice. Hey, we did get the last upgrade to the thingamabobber though, so now we got this whole thing all to ourselves. Get out of here. One thing I just saw, yeah. Frickin, you know, purple science requires 25 steel for the, for the this and for the rails and for the other thing. Oh yeah, we have these now, that's cool. Great, just my luck, I'm setting up a frickin' thing and the power runs out. Alright, so my stupid idiot self forgot to start recording again. So, um, we now have the power armor. Uh, we got stuff, bacon cooking, we got these going, we're gonna get some more of those. This is good, this is can be turned right into robots and then we should be good. Alright, well we now have uranium. What we're gonna do with this uranium, um, I don't think we haven't even unlocked it yet. Oh no, we do have centrifuges, never mind. Alright, centrifuge, what does this mean? Help. Oh, hey, this is actually really cool. I guess I just use, like, yeah, it uses increasingly more amounts of power. And then it reveals, like, a massive area. That's actually really cool. This mod is so good. Oh, wait, what? what is this? Oh, it's a, it, like, tells me now. That's cool. This frickin' radar thing is so helpful, and I'm out of power. Okay, so we have a new way of storing stuff, which is nice. Um, the only problem is that we need to defend it because it's on the outside. Hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. I mean, if I can just, like, good enough, you know? All right, so nuclear stuff incoming, but now we've reached the bot era. Where's the, here we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set up like a thousand of these things all over my base. All righty, look at this bot absolute city. Obviously, you know, once I get bot upgrades, they're gonna be faster, but basically science is fully automated at this point. I don't have to do anything other than like supply the raw materials. All right, power is back to normal, but Spider revolution is crazy high and we don't have a an auto warp timer so it's basically up to me to decide when i want to leave i can like feel myself getting irradiated by these things bro you just gotta stop and take a look at how good factorio is you know <sighs> all right that's the 40th we just gotta wait for this stupid thing to finish. Oh my gosh, lack of blue science. Blue science is going at full speed. It has enough. It's just not going fast enough. Uh, and I don't have stuff for speed modules. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna redesign this base because all of this space down here is all completely wasted for like these pipes and gears and red and green science, which like. I'm using like four assemblers. Okay, I should probably give an update. So we got these going there, they're cranking, and we're just missing purple science now. These things have been stacked up, we're getting those. We just really need, oh my goodness, no, not you. We just really need more stone and or a better way to get stone. The end goal here is this, um, immediately stack inserters into, um, active provider chests into a just an entire array of buffer chests and then requester chests here going to the correct areas. Oh yeah, I went like AFK for like three hours and now we have these things upgraded, which is pretty nice. And that's why Factorio is great. 
All right, what does a hundred bots at once look like? Oh, wow. Bots are satisfying, and I have a beefy computer, so this should be fine. I shouldn't be, like, absolutely dying with two FPS. There's no frickin' way. That just contained a nuclear reactor. These things are, like, insanely expensive, bro. That's crazy. And that's basically the entire nuclear reactor, just like that. Okay, here's one thing I absolutely do not get. So we have active provider chests, meaning it's like, hey, get rid of this. And these are like, hey, I can just basically store stuff. These guys are flying all the way over here just to store it in these when there's literally storage chests right next to them. Yeah, this is your average 90% evolution experience. What the heck? Um, so, well, even though we still got like I don't even know, like 50,000 copper and like another, you know, 50,000 iron or so. Uh, we're out of stone, surprisingly, so we have to go. All right, so we've switched red over to here. Why am I completely out of power? Did these things, no, these things are fine. Oh, that's cause why. Um, okay, so we switched those over to here. We've got another thing of the beacon, uh, which I'm probably gonna do speed. And now we're just, working towards the end of the game pretty much this is the thing that i love about this game so i've been reneeding red circuits forever so i'm like ah screw it let's just copy paste these a bunch of times so now we've got like what like just 700 plus red circuits just constantly piling up so now it's like oh our plastic is slowly dwindling all right let's go get more plastic and then oh we need more oil no we need this oh we need that ah Okay, so these things are now set up for sulfur. It was not that hard to set up. I got a bunch more of these storage chests, and this thing is way bigger. What the heck? And, um, the, the, this needs some tier 3 modules, and we should be good. Oh, wow, that's the rocket. Um, uh, I don't have anything set up. Frick. Um, I don't even think I can craft this. Yeah, I don't have enough concrete. Oh well, that'll be in the back of our minds now. Um, we ran out of oil, and America is looming over my shoulder, so we need to go. Well, we're completely out of oil again, and I'm too lazy to literally do anything, so, um, yeah, see you next episode.